Hey everyone, so in this video today, I wanna to share three different apps that I consider kind of my go-tos and that I think every film photographer should check out. So if you've watched a few of my recent videos, you may have seen me using a viewfinder app. I had a lot of people reaching out just ask me what that was called. So I figured I'd do this video. I've had this idea for a little bit anyways, just to share a few other apps as well that I find really useful as a film photographer. So I'm gonna keep this really simple. I'm gonna share the screen capture of my phone. We'll go through a couple of these apps. I'll share some of the features, some of the things I like about them. And also just wanna note that all of these apps are available for both iPhone and Android, so you're not out of luck if you don't own one or the other. Okay, so the first one is the Viewfinder app. We'll start with that. This is called Viewfinder Preview, and it's, I think, like £3.99 on the App Store. Obviously, this is just like, a, as the name states, a Viewfinder Preview app, but what it allows you to do is basically pick your film format and then pick your lenses. So you'll see on the side here, we have it set to Pentax 672. This is a custom setup I've done. But if I click on that, I can go to 4x5, I can go to 645, I can go to 35 mil. And then if we go back, let's go to the 67. So on the right hand side, I'm at 75 mil. I can go and pick my different lenses. So go to 105. Or if we go to 4x5, I can pick same thing. So I'm on a 135 and go to a 180. And the cool thing is, is that you can go and you can kind of set up your different camera formats in the menu here. So you can go edit camera menu. Uh, right now I have 35, 645, 66, 672, or the Pentax 672 and then a 45. But it has a bunch of presets here as well. So you can go in and add that. And then you can go to uh, your focal length menu and you can add different focal lengths depending on your camera setup. So it, for the 672, I have 75 mil, the 105, a whole bunch of others, which were probably just presets. I should delete them because I only own two lenses. Uh, and I will note as well, obviously you can only go so wide. Uh, it's gonna be determined by the lens on your camera. You can add on like a wide angle attachment if you wanted. And then I think in this app, you can kind of, yeah, enable wide angle scaling. Uh, but for me, you know, across all of my systems, I would say the widest lens I, I use would be equivalent to like 35 in the 135 format. So. No issues there. And then it also has a film emulation setting. So you can pick from all these different color and black and white stocks. Uh, I just leave it set to Tmax 400 for black and white. I'm not really looking for this app uh, to give me like an accurate representation where I'm gonna be like judging things. So I just want a little bit of a contrast here look. Uh, from that, you know, with the color ones, I would never really worry too much about those because there's gonna be so much variance, obviously, when you uh, scan and stuff like that. But really, this is just a great way, you know, I got this when I started shooting large format, instead of, you know, having to set the camera up to compose and try and find different images, it's nice to just walk around with something like this, you know, try and frame up different shots, and then you can set the camera up. But I found that I've started to use it a lot more, uh, even just with 6.7, as, especially as I shoot black and white, because it is nice to also get that preview and you can kind of see how tones are gonna look. So. Amazing app, I get so much use out of this thing. If you're a large format shooter, I think it's an absolute must, but also, you know, it's great for previewing black and white as well, trying to find different scenes and stuff like that. So definitely recommend checking this one out. Viewfinder preview, available for Android and iPhone. The second one is an app that I have started using quite a bit now as I develop here at home. So this is called massive dev chart and this is actually a website it's been around forever basically what it does is it gives you a gigantic list of film stocks and developers you can pick uh, which ones you're using and then it'll give you uh, different uh, development or processing times for those combinations so the website itself is amazing but the app is great if you're developing black and white film yourself because It'll give you not only the development times, but then it'll also, it, it gives you a timer that you can use that kind of notifies you about agitation and different things like that. So if we jump into the app here, this first page is the My Times page, and this is like a bunch of presets that I've done. We'll just go and create one that's already there. So when you do that, it wants you to pick your different film types, so 35, 120, or sheet. So let's say we're shooting some Ilford HP5. Now it wants to know what developer we're using. So for me, I mostly just use DDX, one plus four, and then it wants us to pick our film speed. 
so ISO 400. Obviously, the other ones are there if you're, say, pushing or pulling, but now at the bottom, I mean, we already have this one set in here, but this is the one we just created, HP5 and DDX. So it brings up the timer now, which gives you a timer for all the different kind of stages. So you can see it has development, it's saying nine minutes at 20 degrees Celsius, a minute for the stop bath, five minutes for fixing, two minutes for hypoclear, 10 minutes and 30 seconds for the final wash. So usually I go in and I edit these. Obviously I leave the development time as it is, uh, and I usually leave the stop bath and the fixing, but I'll go in and I'll usually ditch the hypoclear, I'll shorten the final wash to five, and then I just leave rinse aid at 30 because I, I usually use a wetting agent uh, as a final rinse for around 30 seconds. So obviously, you know, those specific times uh, after the development time are gonna be different for everyone because everyone has their own kind of uh, preferences and processes and stuff, uh, but it is cool that you can pick all these different film stocks and it'll give you that development time. So for instance, you know, uh, recently I shot some Fomapan, went to develop it at home, just opened up the app. It was there, I picked DDX, give me my times and it was good to go. Uh, and also I will mention one more thing. You can also change the agitation uh, process. So obviously again, everyone has different ways of doing it. The app right now is telling me an initial minute of agitation. For me, I usually, just ditch that because I'll do a few turns and leave it and then I'll do the 10 seconds for every minute. So again, all of those kind of specifics are, will be different for everyone, uh, but the app itself, you know, you can save these presets and then you have your main page here. So now for me, you know, I have HP5 uh, and Ilfosol 3, I have HP5 and DDX, I have Tri-X and DDX, T-Max and DDX, Fomapan. So, now, whenever I go to develop film, I can just click on one of these presets, good to go. My timer's all set up, the agitation schemes are set up and all that, and pretty straightforward. So massive dev app. I think this one is uh, like eight pound 99. It's also not free, but again, you know, these considering we're in this uh, hobby or profession where, you know, like a roll of film costs 10 pounds, this is like a treat to be able to spend <laughs> this little amount of money on something that brings you so much value. So this and the viewfinder preview app. Um, obviously, I'm sure there's other apps out there like this. If there's one you use and you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. I'm sure it could help some other people out as well. Okay, and the last app that I use, this is one that gets a lot of use when I'm shooting at night, but other than that, it doesn't get that much use uh, as a whole because I don't shoot at night that often. Uh, but just a super simple app, it's called Reciprocity Timer. And obviously this is just a calculator for figuring out uh, different reciprocity failure calculations for different film stocks. So there is a, a pro version. The, I guess like the standard version that I have is really simple. All you do is you pick your film stock, you set your exposure time, and then it'll give you the kind of calculated time taking into account reciprocity failure. And you can also do like compensation and add a filter. Like if you have a filter on, it'll kind of compensate for that as well. But I purely use this just for figuring out the reciprocity failure. So for instance, the left here, you would pick your film. So let's say we're shooting some Portra 400, and then you would pick your exposure and it gives you the adjusted time at the bottom. So obviously right now we're at a 30th, there's gonna be no reciprocity failure. But as we get up to say two seconds, you can see the timer at the bottom now uh, lists three seconds as our exposure time. But if we go to say six seconds, it's giving us 10 seconds. Let's say we went all the way up to a minute, it's saying three minutes and 47 seconds. And then you can just hit start and it'll count down. So really simple app, but super handy. Obviously, if you're shooting at night, you need to figure out what your reciprocity calculation is gonna be. And this is just a really easy way to do that. Uh, I will mention though that I read some of the reviews on the app store and people were complaining that apparently the Ilford times aren't correct. Apparently Ilford updated their reciprocity uh, failure calculations within the last year or something. So just something to, to note if you are going to use this, it may be worth just kind of double checking against what's on the manufacturer's uh, spec sheets. But so far, you know, I've used it for, I think, Ektar and Portrait, just color films and it's worked great and my exposures have looked nice. So reciprocity timer is what it's called. And I can't remember if this like standard version was free. I think it might've been like one pound 99. Again, when you take into consideration how much we spend on this craft, those numbers are pretty cheap. 
But anyways, those are the three apps that I use. The Viewfinder Preview and the Massive Dev Chart app get a lot of use. Uh, whenever I go out and shoot now, it seems like I'm using the Viewfinder Preview app. I love it, I would highly recommend it. So if you're looking into something like that, I would recommend checking that one out. And I, especially if you're shooting large format, I consider it pretty much an essential. So anyways, hope this helped answer some questions for any of you who are wondering what that app was. The other two are worth checking out as well. If you have any suggestions uh, for apps, maybe something you use that you feel like is a great option to any of these or just for anyone who's shooting with film, let me know below in the comments. I'm sure it'll help out. But anyways, other than that, just wanna say thank you as always. I appreciate everything, all the comments and support and all that kind of stuff. And I'll talk to you soon.